What's going on everybody? So the third overall pick, Joey Bosa, has still not signed his contract with the San Diego Chargers. Now before I get into everything like that, I want to tell you this right now. I respect his stance as a player based on the information that I have heard and read. Now. It's all over allegedly a $17 million contract bonus that the language states how he's going to receive it and if he were to be traded or released, how he would receive the rest of it. So that's his money. Nobody out there that's going crazy on him is putting their body on the line like him and other NFL athletes. You never know. He might go out there and walk the wrong way and have an injury. These things happen. He's a little bit more financially stable, so he's able to hold out longer, so he looks a little bit more greedy. But this is what you play the game for. I understand that people understand, uh, you know, they say you play the game for the love of the game. Everybody that has played for the love of the game uh, after a certain point has received a lot of money for it, okay? It's not like people just go out there like, you know, for the love of the game, I don't need a house, I don't need a car, I don't need, I don't need a roof over my, you know, for my family. Listen, it's about money. So if this man wants to get his money, I understand the frustrations with the San Diego Chargers fans, but people have to understand, even if he is a bust, you gotta get your money. Because that's what it's all about. If you've played your whole life to get to this point, why sign a contract where it's not like he's a lawyer, somebody has to be telling him that the numbers are right. You can, people are so stupid, they, oh bro, he's, he's, he's greedy. What? Listen, you hire lawyers to look over contracts from NFL teams to see if it's suitable. If they don't like the language or something, they're not going to let their athlete sign the contract. So it's not on Joey Bosa, it's him having the backing of a financial stability and a team that knows what's going on. And if the charges are meddling about this ridiculousness, it, it, it only creates more BS. And then his mom is saying things like, you know, you know, they wish, she wished that they pulled the Eli Manning. Look at what happened with Eli Manning. Okay, the Chargers got Phillip Rivers and some draft picks. Eli Manning has two Super Bowls with the Giants. So it worked out pretty well for Eli Manning. So, but there's no teams that are, you know, that has the rookie money that's available right now to trade for Joey Bosa. Else I do believe they would have made a trade because I don't know how you fix this. When, when you start disputes like this over money and it's being dragged on this long, it's like, what is it? Like the seventh uh, training day practice. He's not gonna make his uh, preseason game. Things like this are ridiculous, but people have to really understand something. The NFL, even with all the new rules and everything like that, it's a violent sport where the owners make ridiculous money and they treat the players like they don't mean anything, but that's what we tune in for. We don't tune in to see Jim Irsay high on freaking pills at, you know, at Indianapolis Colts Stadium. We want to see the players, we, you know what I'm saying? So people have to understand. If these young men want to get paid, it doesn't matter, bro. I'm going to voice my opinion out loud. They, they need to get paid. This goes back to the fact that you guys are paying them in the NCAA and not doing whatever you're doing with them. It wouldn't be as crazy as it is right now. But that's another story. But these guys, these athletes that go out there and put their bodies on the line every day, I understand he's a rookie, but he's still playing in the NFL. And we see what happens. We see our careers are over. If this kid doesn't like the way that the contract is written based on his lawyer's advice, who are we to judge him for not signing it? Because after he signs it and he's F, what happens after that? Antonio Brown, the best wide receiver in the league. What is he like? What is he even getting paid right now? You see what I'm saying? Because he wanted to play for the love of the game. Who? Listen, I understand the love of the game, but money is involved with all these guys that say that. Trust me when I tell you, okay? That's the way it is. Money has to correspond with what the damn production is. And I know it doesn't actually fit the criteria right here because he's a rookie, but people need to understand that anything can happen to this young man. You're not paying his damn bills. It doesn't really matter. The Chargers are not losing anything by making sure that they reword the contract the way it should be about his bonus and that it doesn't you know, linger on if he's released or traded. That's the issue here. And they always try to manipulate the thing, make the player look greedy. But guess what? When the player's taking off on the stretcher and the team is like, you know what? We don't need you no more. Where's everybody else at that point? It doesn't really matter. Let him do what he has to do. Hopefully they work it out. The charges are not really, you know, relevant right now anyway. So the only person that, you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, you got Phillip Rivers. The guy has been making moves with nothing for a very, very long time. You get Keenan Allen. I think he's a stud. Gates is taking steroids during the season. He came back late. It, the whole thing is crazy. They had Vincent Jackson. They let him go. This is an organization that doesn't want to pay. This is an organization that has a general manager that doesn't give a F. Why are you blaming the players? You see what I'm saying? The fish stinks from the head down, bro. Something is going on where players are just not agreeing with the things that are happening. And again, I support Joey Bosa. I hope everything works out for him. I hope he gets the player snap because I think he has talent. And I know that everybody's saying he's gonna be a bust, he's gonna be this like, he's gonna be that, whatever. But I hope he's not. Let me know what you're thinking. Until next time.
one love.